if you receive a caring response from something like ChatGPT or Bing or another chat platform, how do people feel when they see that, both in terms of their psychological reactions, but also from a normative ethical perspective? What do we think about the appropriateness of cultivating empathetic uh, responses for these kinds of agents and also receiving them from these kinds of agents? So are there ways in which we can think about using these interactions to improve our moral sensibilities, increase our moral discernment, and change our ethical uh, behaviors and intuitions? Uh, there's both promise and peril in thinking about that question. And this is in flavor of what I've been seeing for the past few years. Um, tech doomerism, uh, AI doomerism, and all the, you know, the existential threats and all the problems it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll lead to. And I agree, there are real problems that we need to grapple with. And we need the philosophers, especially in this room, to help us grapple with those problems. So we've often said that arti artificial agents are artificially intelligent because they're expected to uh, exhibit, uh, perform behaviors or exhibit characteristics or processes that demonstrate intelligence to humans. But increasingly, they're also being required to exhibit artificial morality by making decisions or helping us in cases that if, dis if performed by human would be described as moral. Uh, so I lead a lab here in Canada called the Rosie Lab. Um, and you know, Robots with Social Intelligence and Empathy is a uh, Sounds like a bombastic name. It's aspirational. Um, but I chose this name because I think that trying to build robots with social intelligence without empathy could be worrisome. What we do in our lab is we use this kind of methods where we basically translate paradigms protocols from experimental psychology into more naturalistic human robot interaction. But we still use a lot of cognitive neuroscience methods. So as you see here, as the person is interacting with the robot, we are measuring her EEG, her neural activity with the EEG cap. We look at her eye movements, and we also measure her performance with reaction times and error rates. So these are the kind of like, this is the approach that we take in um, trying to understand the human cognition and the cognitive mechanisms in human-robot interaction.